Hello students, this is an introduction to what we'll know as PV legs. PV legs is an acronym for the elements for giving good public speaking skills. So each of the letters in PV legs stands for something and we'll go over those. The P stands for poise. You should have poise and composure when you give a speech. Things that show that you don't have poise are when you're fidgeting, shuffling your note cards, playing with your hair or your fingers or other similar habits that show the audience you don't have poise. These can be distracting and so you want to have poise so that you show or appear to be calm and confident. V is for voice. You should speak every word clearly. Many new speakers speak too quickly. That is why in a lot of these videos I'm going a little bit slower than normal so that I can make sure that I speak every word clearly. Your volume should also be appropriate for the room um, and it should change or vary throughout the speech. So if you speak in a softer volume, sometimes that can draw your audience in. But of course, you don't want to do the entire speech too softly because then people will get annoyed and want to stop listening. So you need to work on also projecting your voice so it's loud and clear when you need it to be. Life, or L, you should show passion and emotion when giving your speech. That's what life means. Bringing life to your speech engages the audience and keeps them interested in what you have to say. E is for eye contact. You should make eye contact with as many people in the room as you can. Sometimes if you have a larger audience, that's not possible. But you should still look at all sides of the room, rotating your head around. Um, to make sure that you're making eye contact with as many people as possible. It helps you make a connection with your audience. If you're reading off note cards, which you won't have note cards for your speech, or if you're looking at the floor, that is not good and causes your audience to think you are nervous or not interested. Uh, one common trick that some people use is to look at people's foreheads. Um, if making eye contact can be distracting to you, sometimes if you look at people's foreheads, um, it, it gives the appearance that you're making eye contact when you're not quite making the eye contact. Gestures, these are your hand movements. So you should move your hands freely and naturally when you speak. Um, if you're grasping onto something like a podium, that's why we won't use a podium. Fiddling with your fingers or folding your hands too long can be distracting to the audience. Um, so you also need to, part of gestures is also facial expressions. So you don't want to be smiling during a sad part or scowling during a funny part. You want to show appropriate emotions with your facial expressions. Speed. Or S is for speed. You should control the speed of your speaking to match the tone of your speech. However, it is almost always better to go slower than you think. Use pauses effectively and emphasize important words or phrases. You should be able to breathe normally during your speech. If you come out of your speech winded, you've been talking too quickly. Now, occasionally, there are speeches that you do need to speak quickly through um, because it's part of the effect. But for most of the speeches we will do, you want to go slower than you really think. So that is your introduction to PV legs. P is for poise. V is for voice. L is for life. E is for eye contact. G is for gesture. And S is for speed. So remember those as we go through this unit on speech.